More police are investigating a deadly Valentine's Day shooting at a home. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Amanda Taylor. And I'm Carl Torr. Police say the suspect broke into his ex-girlfriend's place and shot a man several times. The suspect was taken into custody a few hours later. News 9 crime tracker Jennifer Pierce is live at the Moore Police Department with the story. Jen. Carl, more police are investigating the deadly shooting as a domestic situation. They say a woman and two small children were home at the time of the shooting, but were unharmed. Tanya Cottrell heard what she thought were gunshots a couple doors down Wednesday night. All the neighbors are quiet. You don't get any of this around here. Cottrell says her neighbor saw the suspect leave the scene right after the shooting. I heard something about he went through a bedroom window. Possibly the same way police say 30-year-old Bobby Oliver broke into the home near Southeast 14th and Morgan Drive and opened fire on a man inside. This is apparently his ex-girlfriend's house, so this is a domestic situation. When police showed up to the home, they say the victim was dead, shot several times in the face and chest. Police were able to confirm the suspect's name from witnesses and neighbors. We had some assistance from residents nearby with doorbell footage and stuff like that. We were able to get an ID on the license plate and track him down that way. Police found Oliver at his family's home in Norman. They say he surrendered and turned over the alleged murder weapon. It's not comforting at all to know that these guns are in the wrong hands, period. Cottrell didn't know anyone at the home where the man died, but has questions. The same questions police plan to uncover through the investigation. Two doors down from my house and the dude got shot. I'd like to know why. You know, what did he do? Oliver is in custody at the Cleveland County Detention Center. He was booked on a first degree murder charge and burglary. Reporting live and more, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9. From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Well, yesterday, upper 60s to low 70s. Today, about 10 degrees cooler as promised. Lots of sunshine, at least here in Oklahoma City. Now, northern Oklahoma, northwestern Oklahoma, you've had some clouds today, but all in all, not a bad day. But yes, it has been cooler. Take a look at Lynx One, talking about this morning into the upper 30s, and then here we go up to 60 today. We actually just tapped 60 for about 10 minutes. But uh, that was about 8 to 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. The cooler weather already coming back in. 45 in El Reno to a 54 in downtown Oklahoma City. 58 in Jones. 60 over in Shawnee. Western, northwestern Oklahoma. You were cloudy much of the day, keeping your temperatures down some. So you didn't really rebound much. Okay, so it's been cool. But either way, 40s, 50s, 60s right now down south. Look at the wind here across the metro. It's a light north breeze at about four or five miles per hour. Not much wind statewide, but that, my friends, will be changing. So two days of cold coming and more wind. Who sees a little rain coming up? Who sees a little snow coming up? And there are 70s, that's right, 70s on the nine day. Look at all your weather coming up in about 10 minutes. Guys, back to you. We'll see you then, David. At the state capitol, lawmakers now working to save you money either at the grocery store or on your income taxes. Our capitol reporter Haley Wagger joining us now live with the push from lawmakers. Haley. Carl, those updated numbers show the legislature has up to $11.1 billion to spend in 2025. That's compared to $10.8 billion they had to spend in 2024. Because of that, the governor is doubling down on his call for lawmakers to cut taxes. The main two cuts on the table are the quarter point cut to the personal income tax and the elimination of the state portion of the grocery sales tax. Both were passed by the state house in the past year and are now one Senate vote away from being signed into law. The governor and house leaders continue to push the Senate to just take up the cuts, but Senate leaders were waiting on these budget numbers that came out today before they made any moves. Meanwhile, the Senate pro Tim has introduced his own grocery tax bill. I still very much support uh, grocery tax elimination of the state portion and Regardless of which vehicle we use to achieve that goal, uh, that's, that's no difference to me. We're at the point where something needs to be done. And whether it's a quarter, whether it's the grocery tax, a half, the, the House has already passed those things. The governor continues to say he'll pass any tax cut that comes across his desk. We'll be talking more with Governor Sitt about these tax cuts tomorrow morning. Live at the Capitol, Haley Waker, Oklahoma's own News 9.